Ocean and Scotty Graham live in the wild beauty of northern Scotland on the Isle of Skye. Their journey, their sound chamber, and their love have become one. So this chamber is 20? Yeah, has been in use for 20 years. years? I reckon it's 20 years. Yeah. And did you have a plan when you for it how you were going to build it, or was it a discovery? Totally none. <laughs> Absolutely none. <laughs> Yeah, the, the whole thing, like everything about Joseph, completely knocks me over. But my only thought was from the little bit I'd gleaned from the information about the chambers, and it's amazing how much I didn't pick up, was, <laughs> that, was that it needed to be partly in the ground, and um, it needed to have a door east and west, and it could be made of anything, So, um, and it needed to be very approximately round. And I noticed that everybody who's taken on this vision has done completely different things with it. And, and my experience with the chambers, every chamber is, is a, a journey of its own and the chamber keeper goes through an amazing journey. The chamber keepers, often they're supporting people who come and participate in, in looking after that. It becomes a focal point for a lot of other things happening. So people gather in the chambers and then other things grow out of it. And the stuff that happens in the chambers, that can get more and more um, in depth in terms of its work with energy and sound and healing and learning. And because it's not a religious thing, it's not confined in any way. It doesn't have rules. And so it's open to a lot of exploration and it's closed to nobody initially and we were very hesitant about learning about sound it's a, an unfamiliar idea but when we got into it we worked out that within about 20 minutes there was a vortex going here like this mm -hmm. it would build mm -hmm. and then it would go and joseph said it would do that but i had never seen it yeah. and then one day i saw it and it goes down and out and up and out and everything eats it up and you can see the trees and everything around you eating up this energy. Mm. Yeah. This is called a reciprocal frame. Have you met it before? No, I've never seen well, it. And if you look at one being, for instance that being, it is resting on that one, which 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 is resting on itself. So every beam is supporting and supported by another beam, and it's a metaphor for community. I think what Joseph's done is he's created the opportunity for points to be put into the earth, like acupuncture needles, in different places around the world where people have been receptive. And these points, they radiate and they attract people who are ready to move into their potential spiritual beings. And so what he's done from his place is allow that to be expanded over everywhere. So these places can be used as acupoints and beacon points and calling points and healing points and places of discovery, personal discovery um, for not only their communities but all the people that, that, that touch them and move out and take that with them. So I think what he's done is in his courage and wisdom is his created an opportunity for mankind to explore beyond what was available to them before. Whatever we do in here does have an influence, it does spread out. So whatever we do in here has to be best of reasons. And we, we try not to bring any negative feelings in. And if we do, we have to sort them out, find out why they're there, get rid of them. It's just been an amazing journey and not always 100% ready for <laughs> everything that's come our way, <laughs> but riding it and seeing where it wants to go.
has always been an amazing adventure. Oh, yeah.